Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hey, lean in. We got to lean in. Oh, hello. Hi. Am I even here? I don't know. I, I'm kind of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna move the laptop here in a second. Um, so how's it going, everybody? This is Sean and Alex, and we're working out the kinks <laughs> yeah. on our first live playthrough. Uh, so I had the remaining equipment, an extra camera, because there's going to be a two-camera feed. Uh, so you'll be able to see this view and then kind of over the board, uh, which will be kind of kind of cool. Um, so if anything? someone no. can chime in on whether or not you can hear us, that the audio is OK or not, then uh, that would be great. Uh, Alex, why don't, you, why don't you talk about your experience with Battalore while I move this laptop? I love Battalore. Um, Battalore is one of those games that's a dudes on a map game that I don't uh, mind as much as other dudes on a map games. It's a tactical combat. I think that's why. And, and with the system, my first experience was with Memoir 44 was uh, the first one in the Command and Colors system that I had tried out. Sean introduced it, me to it as he introduced me to this. You said Memoir, right? Yeah, Memoir 44. Yeah, okay. Yep. Uh, and I have, have loved this game quite a bit. Uh, we have played it, uh, we played it a few times ahead of the review way back when, and then it kind of fell off the radar in terms of actually, in terms, oh, hey there, uh, in terms of actually playing it. Um, Speak for yourself. I yeah. played it. I played it quite a few times. In person? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've I've mainly been playing it on the app. So I played the the story mode on the on the app. So I've never seen the undead guys. I don't know how that's gonna. I happen. have I have yet to play with them. Uh, so just for. We won't bump the table. Too much. Um, all right. So basically, so Battle War is like you said, a command and color system. It's designed by Richard Borg. If you could see here on the map, it's divided into three sections because we're going to get these command cards. That there's some variations, but a lot of them will say activate two units on your left flank, activate one unit in each section. And so then we'll activate those units, and we'll move, we'll attack, I'll kill Alex, and everything will be good. And what we're trying to do is be the first to get to 16 points, um, and we're going to do that by achieving certain objectives. One of those is just killing an opponent's unit. That's usually worth a point. And then we have special scenario objectives that we will, uh, will give us additional points. So first to 16, uh, it's kind of cool because you're basically it's, you're holding ground, usually. Or holding a specific spot on the map, it's it's really cool. So, uh, first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about our scenarios. And what I really like, Alex, can you hold your yours in? I right, guess hold it. Yes. Hold it like that. I don't know if that if that works. Uh, but basically, we each build a half of the map, and it tells us what pieces to put where. And so in this case, it says put this wood here, this river here, and so that's essentially what we've done. And then it's also our individual. Scenario. Are you getting anything on YouTube about uh, about whether people can hear us? Um, Is anyone actually watching? Yeah, there's one person watching. Hooray! I think it's Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Um, so, uh, so mine it says Swamp of Corruption. Let me see. I don't know if any of that can be read. I'm watching. On Friendly here. units may re-roll lore results. So there's some dice rolling in this, obviously. Uh, so the lore results is one of the one of the sides. Produced during combat rolls, once when attacking enemy units in and adjacent to water hexes. It's called my scenario is called Swamp of Corruption. Swamp of Corruption. So if they're in and around, then I basically get a reroll on those lore results, which is kind of a mixed blessing because lore is going to let you spend uh, you spend it for spells, which is pretty cool. Uh, but also, if you're just trying to kill something, that can be helpful. And then it says during the VP step, which is the last part of the game or last part of a turn. It, say, it says gain one VP if friendly units occupy more hexes on or adjacent to water hexes mm. than enemy units. So the swamps are what I want to control. Alex? So uh, I have the Ruins of Lore. Once per turn, during my lore step, I may spend one lore to move a friendly unit one hex. So I get a little bit more mobility. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And then my VP step, I gain one VP unless an enemy unit occupies either of the crystal spire hexes, the two guys right here and here, 
outlined in red. If friendly units occupy both crystal spire hexes outlined in red, though, I gain one lord during the BP stat. So there you go. So I don't have to occupy both. I just, just one. Have to occupy one. That's correct. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. And then, do you have any VP spots on your board? I do have one VP spot. It is this house. Okay. So, I will find that. And how does that work again? It's here, I'm just going to put this here. Basically, um, if you control sense. it, you're considered as having a VP? Yes. Okay. So, holding this spot here and this spot here will grant you a VP at the end of every turn. Great. It doesn't say, well, I'll find it. Um, all right, so the next thing that we would normally do, and by the way, I'm going to be going first because of how this was set up. Normally, we kind of get to draw three halves of our scenarios and then pick one, but we just kind of set this up uh, to save time. The next thing we do is we build our army. And so this is kind of like Warhammer Light because you, you have 50 points, and each of your different units costs a certain number of points, and you spend it however you want. However, for ease of play and just so you can see, we have these different army cards. So I'm playing the Terrors of the Mist, which gives me some reanimates, some bone horrors, necromancers, bar guests, and some banshees. And I have uh, Tramlin's Raiders, that gives me a Citadel Guard, Battle Mages, Lancers, Ironbound, and it would normally give me a Crystal Spire, but I think we determined for some reason, because there's already Spires out there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I get uh, four, four lore, or yeah, four lore instead. So, there we go. All right, and then uh, the next thing that we do, which is a really cool part of the system, is one of the units that we have, we get a corresponding card. And you can see on the cards that it tells you in the bottom left how much they, how much they cost, um, and then it gives you their unit stats. And what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of those and then a number of decoy cards that equal 18, so we total those up, and then... Simultaneously, we're going to place cards down. All of the purple shaded spots on mine and all the fill each one of them. We just won't know if they're a decoy or an actual unit. And then once we're fully deployed, then we replace the cards. Pretty cool system because it's the secret deployment, which is really cool. So, Alex. Yes. Shall we deploy our forces? We shall. Okay. So I'm hoping that we'll kind of talk things through, although because this is supposed to be secretive. Um, nope. We won't. I lost the stream. Hmm. It's, uh, it's still broadcasting. Okay. Doop, doop, do. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm trying to watch it online to see if people are chatting. Yeah, I'm pulling it up here in a second. All right. All right. So, I love the art. The art's really cool. This is the most exciting part of the game yep. for, for folks exciting. watching at home. So, I'm going to deploy these guys, or are they decoys? I don't know. I mean, I, you don't I, actually I know. know. I know. <laughs> I don't know that you will know. Mm -hmm. And then, that's going there. That's going there. Is there any other rule other than now just. What, as far as where they go? Yeah. Nope. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. You just. And I'm. Well, no, I don't want to say that because I'm going to get crap for saying it. All right. I'm not putting too much thought into this. Excellent. Are you? Some amount, but well, not a ton. Some amount, but for this, I mean, for the sake of like, this isn't super interesting. Right. Ooh, look at that and place cards face down. Yeah. Isn't that exciting. So, how was your day? It was fine. How was yours? Uh, busy. I was in court all day. I was day. not, in fact, in court. You weren't? No. That's crazy. I know that's surprising to you. I consider me surprised. Oh, there's an ad with Jon Snow on YouTube. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I know more about Jon Snow than I knew in the past, whatever that means. That's good. Uh, yep, yeah, it's up. It's up. 
OK. Still deploying. Deploy, deploy, deploy. I think if we had more time before we started, we probably just would have auto-deployed. Yep. But we didn't. Um, doop, doop, doop. Putting stuff Oh, out. Chewy was helping me earlier. Oh, good. Yep. And How'd that go? Well, she's adding more stuff to the board than supposed to be there. OK. I'm like, wait, that doesn't look right. That's not correct. That You're not correct. Slid over there. Okay. He's already starting to cheat. There we go. I regret nothing. So Matthew says it's fixed. Yeah, something's fixed. I don't know what that oh. was all about. All right. Ba -doo -ba -doo. Okay. Okay. I'm placed out. All right, so now we reveal all of our cards. There's and, a decoy. And, and as decoy. I take decoys, I'm just going to take them off the, whoop, the map because they're not necessary. This part is also super exciting. Citadel Guard, Citadel Lancers, Grave Metal Mages. Decoy, decoy. These guys, these guys. Decoy, decoy. Yes, I shall tear through your middle. Decoy. Yeah, so you're set up for a classic pincer. Haha. -ha. That's classic Alex, so it's falling for the pincer. I know what that means exactly. What? I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means. Um, so the next thing we're going to do now is, uh, is obviously replace the cards. Well, maybe not obviously, but uh, replace the cards with the units. And so for each unit, there's a certain number of models. Nope, you're, I don't have the center view or the top view. Yep. Uh, there's a number of models. That were, I guess I could have held up to that camera. It's like there are two cameras or something. Uh, so if you see there, there are three stats at the bottom plus some special abilities up, up top. The first blue thing is their movement. The red is uh, the number of dice that they roll on attack is either or if it's a single uh, okay, model you unit, how much health it has. So. Nope. Now, and I don't know what my guys really look like. Good luck with that. But I do have a sweet banshee. I'll ban your she. Yep. Uh, okay. Boy, this model look how droopy this guy is. <laughs> That's supposed to look like that. It actually is very reminiscent of Harbinger, a Menoth model from Privateer Press. Uh -huh. Which I had a beautiful one painted. Uh, so what I like to do, I fill them in. To go there. There we go. Because reasons. That's what I'm doing. Oh, good. Great minds think alike. Also, because I put away the box because I forgot I need to put it out. Anyway, more dudes. Yep, much more. Many more than oh, what I have. Out. What are the? Are these? Things, these models are so cool. Sorry. That's fine. Just break the, the glass cases. That's I didn't break anything. Yet. Yes. Battle mages, three of them. Necromancers. All these are three. Battle uh, mages. Bone horror. Be careful with that very one. Carefully pronounced. Or you could just say horror. Horror. That's what I said. Okay. Wait, what? What? Necromancer. Necromancer. I'm very excited to play with the undead. Very excited. I have no idea how how the undead play. So. And there's no green. So purple's my next choice, there you go. which we've talked about before. Uh, so there are three reanimates. Whenever I hear reanimates, I think of Rhiannon for some reason. Probably because the names sound familiar. OK. That's a good reason, right? Sure, why not? Uh, all right. Uh, and it looks like there's three of everything. I just need to hope. Bone Horror. Necromancer. Necromancer. So I'm reading the uh, Dresden Files, finally, Alex. Okay. Remember we talked about that, the Dresden Files game? Yes. That was on Kickstarter not too long ago? Is it good? Are you, are you lying? Yeah, yeah I, it's it's a hard-boiled detective novel with a wizard. It was really cool. Oh, I, I'm, I'm almost done with the second book. I, 
been reading them pretty, kind of tearing through them. They're enjoyable. They're not great, but they're definitely entertaining. Um, that seems problematic. I'm short. Huh. That's unfortunate. Well, we can do it with counters or something. Yeah, I'll, let's just remember that this is not a necromancer. It's a reanimate unit. Cool. All right, my stuff's done. Um, all right. So we'll, I think we'll kind of talk about what these individual units do as we kind of as we kind of play them. That'd be helpful for my knowledge. Yeah. Generally. Okay. okay. And from the lore thing. Uh, so we are going to draw three lore. Okay. I believe. Three lore cards. Three lore cards. But we're actually going to... Uh, so three lore cards. Yep. Got from it. your lore deck. And we have different lore decks, so they're specific to our particular armies. Alex's are sleeved, mine are, mine are not. Um, and then... Of those three, we're going to uh, just keep them. No, no, we're, I think we only keep two. Okay. Yes. And go ahead and draw six command cards, and we're going to put one command card and one war card on the bottom of the appropriate decks. We see six, keep five. We see three, keep two. Okay. Seeing three, keeping two. Yep. All right, so hmm. one, one, two, two, three, three, four. For folks at home, here's what I'm looking at. Six. Don't tell Sean. Tell me. Put it in the comments. Matthew, count your name. Just let me wall in your head. Okay. Here, I'm, I'm going to switch views. Keep. All right. Keep. Bottom of the deck. I like all of these. This one, these guys, right? Six, keep six. Yes. Or keep five. Yes, keep five. Okay. So I like, generally, I like cheaper more cards to start. Oh my. And what's cool on the lore cards, and don't, again, don't tell, or, yeah, don't tell Alex. You could. Um, By the way, I have the camera up right here. So, oh, well, uh, so they have a cost to the upper left hand corner and some ability, and then it tells you exactly when you can play them. So, sure, why not? Can we keep five of these in hand? Yep. Okay. So, you should have a hand of five command cards yep. and uh, two lore cards. Here are extra dice that I bought directly from Richard Borg. Hooray! Or no, at uh, Dice Aircon. These extra dice are sweet. Okay. So how you doing there, Alex? Good. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, so you gain points if I'm not on your Crystal Spires. Correct. Every turn. Every turn. And I gain points if I have more units than you around or on water spaces. Correct. Like so right now I have one, two, two next to your zero. Yep. So, okay. So right now we're both getting a point in theory. Yep. Okay. So. And you're going first. I'm going first. So uh, first thing we do is we, we play command card and then we order units and then we attack and move attack and, and all that jazz. Yep. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play um I'm going to play line advance. Yep. And line advance basically just says move three units, one in each, um, on each side. So what you do is you nominate all the units. In fact, I should get. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep these tokens here. These are purple to purple wood tokens. I forget what they're from. They're from some. Oh, they're from Lords of Waterdeep. No. Oh, because okay. I replaced them with D and peoples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I like to do is I just like to put these out so that I know remember which ones I've ordered. Uh, so I one from here, one from here, one from here. What's cool is this unit here can count as either, which is which is pretty sweet. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and order the Barges. Barges. And I'm gonna order the. Oh, that's what I did. Hooray! Everything's fixed. Um, all right. 
I'm going to order my Banshee because I would like to play with Banshee. Yep. That's a weird That's a weird phrase. Captain Banshee, and he's a hero. I'm going to order these reanimates. Um, okay. So now I, I, I move them. And so on my bar guest, they have a sweet movement of three. And they say, here's their ability. Uh, Stalker, if this unit was not adjacent to a friendly unit at the start of your moveset, it may move one additional hex during your moveset. But so in this case, it four. is. Yes. So, so it I'm does not do that, or does it? Does no, no. If it's not adjacent, right. it is adjacent to oh a friendly unit. Yeah. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. Yep. Only three hexes. Oh my god. That's fine. Well, no, I was going to attack you this turn. Well, you can't. <sighs> at least not with them. I don't know how much the other stuff. Moves. Okay. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna swap that. There we go. This Cheating. Guy's... No, it's not. It's fine. You're fine. Bone horrors. They have a movement of one. Uh. They're unyielding, Alex, which means they can't resolve retreat effects and are never considered weak. Weak is when you... Uh, I only have one. Yeah, you only have one. And then after my move step, I may spend one lord to move this unit one hex. That's their compelled ability, but I don't have that. So I will simply move one into this forest. And the forest is going to give uh, some protection, but also limit some of what I can do. So they're done because they're not going to get an attack. And then I'm going to move these guys... My reanimates, they have a movement of two. Uh, they have a regenerate ability where I can recover health in combat. And then I add one die to each combat roll performed by this unit for each figure remaining in the unit. So they have a base of, base attack of one. Okay. But uh, four, essentially, at full strength. Got it. So that's pretty cool. So they're going to move two, and I'm going to go... Into uh, the river. <laughs> one, two. Into the river. They're not going to be able to attack. Isn't this exciting? And then finally, my Banshee has movement of two, and she is horrifying, which is a, a combat ability. Yep. Uh, cause, basically, certain die rolls cause retreats. Uh, lore results are cursed. If it suffered one more damage, I gain two lore. Okay. So instead of gaining one lore, that's pretty sweet. And then friendly units adjacent to this unit are considered supported, so for retreat purposes. Um, so all I'm going to do is go one, two. All, again, all just kinds of chilling wet. in the water. Yep. All right, so that's uh, that's the end. And now at the end of my turn, so I discard this lore stuff, and I can uh, I can either draw uh, two lore cards, just dis discarding one from hand. I can gain two lore, or I can do one and one. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and gain two lore. Okay. Because I need lore. I don't have any lore. Someone was saying start with lore like cheaters. Hey, hey, perfectly legal. Okay. And I'll put my lore on my. Combat or my, well, I'll put it somewhere. Got it. On my army card. Uh, then we do end of uh, turn points. So I have more uh, water stuff. More water stuff. Clearly. So I, yep. I gain a point. Yep. Uh, I don't have any of these guys. I haven't killed anything. So just the one point for good old Sean. What's the effect of water if there's an effect on combat? Uh, I don't think there's an effect in combat, but you have to end your movement if you enter Got water. It. All right. Uh, so I have one point and two lore. Draw a new command card, and All right. that's it. All right. So I've been had some time to to plan this all out. I hope so. Although I don't totally know what I'm doing, if I'm if I'm honest. So, all right. So I think what we want to do here is attack Sean. Sean's don't, don't do that. Probably attack Sean in some that? form or fashion. Let's just like harvest the land for resources and. Do, do, do. During your turn, if this is not adjacent to the target unit at the start of the Oh, I like that. Can I get there? I cannot. Not that way. Infantry units. After I'm a move step. Okay. I like I like this one. John Giblin has indicated that these are some phallic rivers. <laughs> uh, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to reveal that. Yes. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to make any comments. Double sided. No. <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Yep. Uh, all right. I feel like that's like pretty typical of our relationship. Not not that. What? <laughs> no, I'll, go, I'll go a certain distance, and then you'll go like way a way step, further. Just, just a step further. Just, okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna play onslaught, which lets me order three infantry units, and then after I move them, they may move an additional hex if okay. I so choose. So uh, I'm gonna choose to. Can I get those cubes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, or you can just have those. No, that's fine. Give me, give me, my, give me those. Uh, all right. 
I'm going to move uh, these little battle magey guys. Yep. I'm move these battle magey guys. Sure, sure. And I'm going to move these guys. I feel like I need different color cubes because I can't see mine. Could be. Uh, all right. These are – all right. So who am I moving and why? Let's see. For victory? For victory. All right. So these are my Citadel Guard. These are kind of my base units. Uh, basically, if I roll swords against Shilton when I'm attacking, it forces him to uh, retreat one. But I also have Pursue one. So instead of using Advance, I may move one hex and perform one additional attack. Pretty sweet stuff. So I'm going to move them into position, and they will be attacking, but I have to move everything first, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have my battle mages uh, come up here and chill. And they're within range of combat, which is nice. And then I'm going to have these guys come up here and also chill. Yep. All right, so that's the position I'm going to do. I am going to initiate three attacks on Sean from three different points, one at a time. So to explain, though, uh, I moved both of my battle mage groups. My battle mages have rune shield. They shield a friendly unit within one hex of this unit. When a shielded unit's attacked, remove the shield marker from that unit's hex and ignore one damage. Catalyst. Uh, if I roll, uh, I draw one card from the lore deck and gain one lore if I roll the lore symbol on the die when I'm attacking. Pretty nice. So, uh, I am going to attack with these guys first. Okay. Going after the, the, re the reanimates. The reanimate bone fools. Yep. Uh, all right. I get, um, what am I looking for? Where are they? These are my Citadel Guard. So I get three dice on attack, and I roll those against Sean. And Sean, I uh, get a lore from one of those results. So you put on, them in the... Thing. Yeah, yeah. So hold on. Hold on. Right? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Just trying to explain what all this stuff means, mainly because I forget. Okay. So swords. Uh, there's a single sword. There's a double sword. Right now, the difference doesn't matter. Uh, do you have any double sword abilities? I do. Uh, sword? I, I force a retreat. On on your oh, those are silo guards. Yes. Okay. Um, but other than that, they're both going to cause damage. So yep. damage, damage, and then you gain a lore. I got my you lore. Got that lore. Yep. So you do uh, two damage, and then this causes a retreat. Yes. However, because my banshee is adjacent to the reanimate, they're considered supported, which means they'd ignore one retreat. And there's only one retreat out. Yep. Uh, and then you get a counterattack? I get a counterattack. So I have one base attack, and then for their rule, I add die for each remaining guy. Uh, single swords... Are they? Will, is that considered weakened because it's by itself? It will, so that means that I need um, double swords to actually deal damage. Okay. Okay, so I get a lore. Cool, I like lore. And you force a retreat. And I force you to retreat. So I can retreat to either these two spaces, Correct. right? Not the trees. Can I retreat to the trees? No, you cannot. Okay, I'm gonna go. go there. That's fine. So that's one attack. Second attack. And, and keep in mind, I would not had had I retreated, I would not have uh, gotten counterattack. And I would have been pursuing you with an additional yes. attack, yes, which would have been fun, and not necessarily on you. It could have been on the banshee. So, uh, but now my battle majors are gonna fire from distance at you. Uh, they're within one to three range. Uh, if you can look up how that works, Sean, in terms of number of dice. What's that? Battle mages, ranged attack. Yeah. Uh, I'm firing two hexes away. Yeah, you get. You Do get, I get all three dice? Yes. Okay. Here comes all three dice. Battle mages attacking the banshee. Oh boy, slicing that banshee up pretty good. So none of those trigger any abilities. Okay. Uh, but they do hit you. No, they don't. What? It's range combat. Oh, that's not you good. Need bullseyes. Well, then I missed. You totally missed. I totally missed. All right. These guys are firing at the trees. I lose a dice for firing at the trees. Is that right? Yes. There's I some benefit. I forget. Uh, a unit occupying a forest rolls a maximum of two dice when attacking. Um, when attacked. And, and attack. And if a unit rolls a maximum of two dice, when attacking a target unit that occupies a forest hex. So I'm rolling two dice. Correct. All right, here's my two dice for this attack into the forest at those mean-looking things. Uh, nothing happens except for, I guess, a rune shield. I would shield a friendly unit. Uh, when a shielded unit's attack, I will remove that shield marker. So we're going to put a shield market marker within uh, one hex of this unit. The only legal guys to be shielded are these guys. Okay. 
So they're shielded. They're shielded. And that just lasts for a round? Or is that, no, it's the next time. Next next time it's attacked. So okay. it, it stays out there for, for a good amount of time, hopefully. Cool. Um, all right. And then during my lore step, I'm going to draw one card and gain one lore. Yep. Interesting. Okay. And I will get a lore. Your turn. Uh, well, would you like some points? Yeah, I would. I'd like two of them. Because I'm occupying this village. Yep. And you're not touching okay. my crystals. Yep. Now, if I occupy both of those, I would gain a lord during that step, but I'm not. So, okay, go ahead. So, I'm going to play. Um, and Esch oh, where's the VPs? They're in there. Okay, I'm going to play echelon left, which lets me move uh, two units on my left flank and one unit in the middle. So, I'm going to order. Um, these guys, the bar guests, yep. I'm going to order my bone horrors. Yep. And then I'm going to order this guy here, who's kind of lonely. That's okay. All right. So now my bar guests can move four. Um, I don't know yep. if that matters. No, you could attack me. Yet. Um, well, let's see. Well, yeah, I can attack you with three anyway. I'm just trying to see one, two, three, four. I can really get in there. Oh, sure. Um, to your big one of those iron bound. Uh, so this these guys yeah. are iron those bound. Are iron bound. All right, let's they have that. armor. Yeah, they may result uh, re ignore one sword result in uh, every combat. Okay. Uh, so they're gonna move in. Okay. They they ignore a single sword, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, these guys move one. I'm gonna go ahead and spend a lore mm -hmm. to move them an extra space. Okay. For my ability. Yep. All right, and then where's this guy just going? Hogging all the yep, all the stuff. Uh, then this guy's gonna come over here. Say hi. How hey, buddy. Going? How's it going? Hey, friend. Okay. Who's attacking first? So first, I'm gonna have the bone horrors attack the battle mages. So oh, hang on one second. One second, because uh, let's see, you're going. Who are you, who are you attacking specifically? The bone horrors are attacking your battle mages right here. Okay. Um, during your move step, I'm spending oh. five lore okay. to ignore one damage and one retreat during each combat this turn. <laughs> okay. So, have fun. Um, They're stalwart defenders. Yes. Here's the card for folks who care. What you going to do? What you going to um, do? In response... Yes. Counterspell. No, not really counterspell. Counterspell? No. Uh, One play lore. After your, uh, runic Siphon. Play after your opponent plays a lore, a lore card. Your opponent chooses one of the following. I can I can gain lore equal to the cost of your lore card. Ooh, that's bad. Or you discard the lore card without paying its lore cost or resolving its effects. I'm going to do the discard and keep all my money. Okay. How about that? Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Nothing else. Go ahead. I can live with that. All right. I get my five lore. So I'm going to roll my uh, three dice with the bone horrors. I'll roll it off board and then move it on. Ooh. Um, Force and retreats. So, so here's the deal. This is no good. You ignore this. Yeah. No, you're not supported. I'm. He's supported by this guy. Is that a thing? Or is it both? I can't remember if it's both or... I will look that up. Well, um, why would yours be supported and mine not? What? Because you were supported over here. Yeah, yeah, but that's just the count is supported. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's it's begun. <laughs> support a unit is supported if it's forced to retreat into a hex occupied by a friendly unit. Oh, so, yeah, but you wouldn't it. have been forced to retreat into this one, right? So, but I I make automatically count as supported. Okay, because of because of the rule. If I'm adjacent. I'm oh, oh, your your thing specifically yeah, says yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. So basically, if. Uh, so you would be forced to retreat here, or do I need to have units both here and here? Both there and there. Okay. So I don't ignore anything, and I just retreat. You retreat uh, twice. Ba -doop -ba -doop. Yeah. There you go. All right. So I will follow up. Hello. Oh, I'll get out of there. All right. So they're done. And then my uh, uh, bar guests. Yep are going to attack your Ironbound. Ironbound, all right. So for folks who don't know, Ironbound automatically have an armor one, meaning I can ignore a sword. They also have another ability dealing with movement, which if I move them, we'll let you know what that is. All right, three dice coming at you. 
Uh, I ignore the sword, but you get some sweet lore. Well, here's the thing, though. I've got my ability, my uh, my campaign ability, not campaign, scenario okay. ability, okay. where I can reroll lore results. Okay. So I will do that. Do you have to spend anything to do that? Nope. Oh, nope. all right. But I obviously don't get the benefit of the lore. Sure. Uh, and so this will be ignored. Yes. Ooh, okay. Uh, and I'm interpreting that I can't just keep rerolling that. Okay. Fine. Maybe I can. No, that's fine. We'll say we'll say no. Uh, howl. This gives me a howl result. Panic the target unit. Panic units must commit flag results produced by combat rolls to suffer uh, one damage after combat. This damage cannot be ignored. When a player orders a panic unit, he may spend two lore to remove the panic. And I've got a I've got a thing for you. So you ignore this. Yep. I get a lore. Yep. And you are now panic. I panic the. But I can attack, counterattack you still. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. All right. Four dice coming at you because it's iron bound. Iron bound are super beefy. Yep. They hurts. get four combat die coming back at you. Now, com uh, panic means. Uh, explain that again, please. Um. Now that these guys are panicked. I'll put a little skull and crossbones. That's probably not the actual thing, but I'm going to put that there. So I can't tell if it's when you roll or when I roll. Okay. I mean, I can see. Okay. When a, when a unit becomes panicked, yes. place a panic marker in that unit's hex indicate that it's panicked. Done. Uh, causing a panic unit to become panicked again, panicked again has no effect. Uh Okay, so when a player resolves an attack for a panic unit, each flag result produced during the combat roll must be committed to cause the panic unit to suffer one damage after combat resolve. That's if you're attacking me. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right, I get my counterattack, attacking the Bargesses with four dice with my beefy ironbound guys. And what do we got here? Uh, that's not super great. Uh, that forces them to retreat. Oh, is that your th I just put that there sure. as a marker. Sure, why not? Uh, it forces you to retreat one space back, your choice. Um, and I will get two lore. Okay. All right. And is that all that you have? No, because I'm going to... Oh, you're attacking with these guys, yes. too. Yep. All right, so two dice. Even though it's weakened. It's, right. Okay. But I don't get to, so in this case, a single sword, sword doesn't, doesn't, doesn't do, do anything. All right. Let's but, see. Also, but single swords will also uh, recover health for me. Yes. Duh. Oh. That's all right. I'll take, I'll take two kills. But you get to attack that with a weakened unit. Yep. So that means I'm rolling three dice. Uh, forces one retreat, get a lore. Okay. Back up. Back up, jerk. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, uh, a... What am I doing? Yeah, a there's lore your lore card, deck. Lore card and a point of lore. Yep. I'm discarding my card. And you where's your, where's your discard PP. for your... Let's do a show discard there. Uh, sure. Okay, have a new card, and then I have, um, so I get a point, right? Because I have, or no. No, no, that has nothing to do with anything. From getting a point. Correct. Okay. But you get a point because you're I get buying more point. river stuff. Yep. And so I'm at two to your two. Yes. And I went first, so that's not great. Okay. All righty. That will do it. Excellent. So, uh, what was your card? Your card that you most recently played. Um, it may matter. Echelon left. left. Okay. I am going to do... Why on earth would it matter? Oh, I know. You know exactly why. Oh, that would have been nice to know. Okay. Uh, let's do an attack right card. So, attacking right. I only have three units over here. So, this, this, and this. Um, all right, we got to get you out of here. I don't, I don't like having you near me right now. It's not, it's not very fun. So, um, we're going to move, uh, the Ironbound up. Would you like to spend two Lord to get rid of Panic? 
Yeah, that'd be nice. I have a ton of it at the moment. Yes. It's no longer panicked. Uh, so they're up and preparing to attack. These guys are up. These guys are up. Yeah, let's... Uh... I'm going to move these guys one space here is the plan. Okay. Uh, so first attack is going to be these guys uh, are going to try and use their superior tactics to push you the heck out of here. So they get three dice against your guys. Okay. And they'll have a shield on the counterattack if that comes up. It's my bone horrors. Okay, so uh, you will be taking one damage. Yep. And retreating. And I will one. not ever retreat. I am unyielding. Unyielding? Yep. Oh, but I do have superior tactics. I cause it, so I can't even cause a retreat with my superior tactics. I can never resolve retreat effects. Okay. I'm never weak. Well, that's that's never yep. that's never good. Um, all right. Shall I attack back? You shall. I do have a shield on here. Just okay. So basically, you can't. Whatever I roll. Yes. What, what's what's the wording on that? Battle mage's ability. Battle mage. Um, when a shield unit is attacked, remove the shield marker from that unit's hex and ignore one damage. Ignore one damage. Okay. So it's not. Not that um, there's any damage done, but it's attacked. So however, I'm going to roll reroll the lore. Well, you would ignore it anyway. I would ignore it. Um. So, yeah, there's no point in me doing anything. So nothing happens. I get rid of the thing, so sure. Uh, I get the lore, though. Sure. Good yeah. job. Woo! Uh, all right. Now the Iron Bound are going to come to play. They're going after these guys. Yes. Well, so you remo remove the action counter. Yeah, from this guy. Iron Bound says... Uh, that's one roll. By the way, if you want exclusive battle lore action counters from the Dukes of Dice... <laughs> Twenty dollars. Keep keep wishing. Uh, we'll give you. We'll send you a pack of cubes. Uh, all right. Uh, the helmet has no effect on him, um, but these he does. Your, these are your iron bound. Right? Does slack and yeah, hack and slash one of your guys. Okay. And then uh, whoa 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 whoa, good sir. Counter attack. Counter attack, and I'm never weak. Oh well, that that's not very nice. Uh, one retreat. Uh, all right, they back up. Well, they have to, in this case, they have to go directly back. That's, oh, from, this way. Yeah, that way, yeah. <laughs> Usually you have a choice of two, but in that situation. I'm actually fine with that. All right, Battle Mage, Battle Mage yep. is attacking over there and hopefully wiping this out because I like victory points. Let's go, Bone Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's, that's an awful roll. That's just a terrible, terrible, terrible roll. Okay, uh, so nothing happens because they can't move. Man, Excellent. You're, you're bad. Yep, uh, but I have some stuff. Uh, all right, uh, I'm going to choose to take two cards from my lore deck. Okay. During my lore step. I'm discarding okay. one. While you're doing that, you're scoring no points for your crystal, right? That's burning. Uh, correct, no and, points, but, but one point for one. that. Where are you keeping your... Oh, right right there. there. Cool. Your turn. Okay. And I draw the card. Um, so, let's see here. That's potentially a thing. Um, all right, I'm going to play Battle Nothing. Never mind, ignore that. What? Nothing. Battle Nothing? That doesn't sound like a thing. I'm going to play Battle March. Battle Roar? Order three units that are not weak. Okay. Okay. And this is would consider be considered not weak. Not weak. Right. So I will order him. Yep. Um, I will order these reanimates. Okay. And I guess I'm gonna order. So I need my my necromancers are support units. Um, I really need to get them into the fight. So. And they have a range attack. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and order them. Okay. Okay. So three units, not weak. Check. I'm going to move. You're going to move them that one? That. No, I'm not going to move. You I might just attack. I might just attack. Or, yeah, I think I'm just going to attack. That's fine. Okay. And then these guys are totally going to move. Because yep. they're going to take the BP spot. BP spot yep. Which is pretty good. And my necromancers are going to move their two spaces. Brains. <laughs> They're on the hill. Okay. So uh, they're they're going to attack first. Yep, attacking and this guy. That lonely guy up on my hill. I get three dice, range attack. Yep. And I would love for an influence ability, which is the the crown. 
Uh, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, all crowns, tell, all three crowns. So it says influence. Choose a friendly minion unit. Uh, Minions being specifically non, okay. non, yeah, within uh, <laughs> within two hexes of this unit. After this combat, the chosen unit may move up to one hex and perform an attack. Okay. Hmm. So that's not boom great. or boom. Yeah, that's not terribly great. Uh, because, I mean, it's fine with him, yep. but like, I'm not going to move them. Yep. So that's not, not the best. Okay, well, I will, um, I will have him move and attack your lonely guy with my two dice. I am weak. And you, so you will ignore that. I'm going to reroll the lore uh, for a retreat. Okay. Hang on one second. I'm figuring out something to do. This is a friendly knight unit. So it's forcing him to retreat, but it's not doing anything else, right, at this point? Correct. Why am I ignoring the sword? Oh, because you're weak. Because I'm weak. Yep. Uh, I am totally okay retreating that oh, guy. Oh, but, but I regenerate with that sword. Oh. Well, that's not good. Yep. Okay. Uh, he will retreat. Anything else with that one? Um, no, that's going to do it there. Okay. And then I'm going to attack with my bone horror yep. on your Citadel guard. Hello, friend. It's one dude, but not considered weak. That is a big pile of nothing. Hey, guess what's coming? A big pile of attacks. A big pile of counterattacks. Oh, boy. Here comes the Citadel Guard, gonna do some cool stuff. Uh, he is dead, yeah. dead and gone, and I get a lore off of it too. Yeah, that didn't work out well. And they get to uh, follow up, right? Uh, uh yes, yeah. Not attack because I didn't oh, get no, the no, no. thing. Oh, it's a counterattack. Oh, it's a counterattack. No. Okay, never mind. Uh, but I do get a do I get a VP for killing you? Yes. Woo, VP, VP. I'm at four. Cool. What are you looking up? Stuff. Okay. Maybe Thanks. I don't want to draw attention to the fact I'm looking stuff up. Well, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to score two points. One for having this hex. Yep. And, and one for most rivers. Living so in the swamps. That's pretty good. Um, so that puts me at four. I like that. Yep. I like that a lot. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to draw two lore cards. Let me just get my battle card. And discard one. Alrighty. Ooh. Okay. All right. And you just played non weak, right? Non weak can uh, do stuff? Correct. All right. Uh, so I'm going to do counterattack, which basically directly copies your card. Okay. Because I like doing that. Sure. Uh, all right. Let's do, oh man. So I got the iron bound over here. I can chase off these dogs, but I don't like their counterattack. The reanimates are sitting on a nice little juicy VP yep. spot. And I kind of want to kick them off of that, but I don't want to get caught in a trap. Uh, so these guys will do stuff. Um, these guys will do stuff, I think. And non-weak, let's see. Are those my Ironbound? Yeah, they're my Ironbound. So, all right. I think I'm going to activate these three units is the game plan here. Okay. So these guys, being the pikemen that they are, can move up two spaces. That's not as many as I wanted them to be able to. So maybe I'll switch that up a little. These guys can move one. Ah. But additionally, I can spend one lore to order it as if it were in any section. And if I do, it may move one additional hex during my movement step. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay my... One lore. Which section are you imagining it's in? It doesn't. I, just pick one. Uh, it's in the left section. Okay. Because crazy. Uh, so these guys, uh, the Ironborn, are going to go one and two. Hello. I think they'll chill there. Uh, these guys are going to go one. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, we want to force a retreat. So we'll go there, and then these guys will go. Oof. The timing of that is tricky, isn't it? These guys will just move up and uh, make it harder for you to do stuff. One, two, and they'll chill right oh, there. Cool. Maybe sitting ducks, maybe not. We'll find out. So uh, attacking now, 
Ironborn are going to go after the reanimates yep. with their four lovely dice. And they roll some good stuff here. Yep. Uh, two. Yep. And I get two lore off of that. So I'm going to do that and trade back in three. So there's my lore. Big, big fat stack of lore. And nothing else from that roll. You do get a counterattack because they didn't retreat. I sure do. Uh, I only get two dice. Yep. But a sword regrows them. Uh, force a retreat. But yeah, just force a retreat. Cool. So these guys back up a step. Yeah. Whoop. All right. These guys yep. will now execute their attack on the big bad dogs. That's my, my Citadel Guard, so I get three dice. Okay, so I get a lore off of that. I do one damage, so one of them's gone, and I force one retreat. Unless there's some effect that you have that doesn't have them retreat. Nope. Okay. Uh, and then pursue one. Instead of using advance, I may move one hex and perform one additional attack. Yes. Now retreat. I was attacking this way. You can go to either. Oh, no, I can't. no, I can't. I have to go here. I have to go there. They're advancing and attacking again. Yes. One additional attack with three. All right. Uh, swords not only do the dam uh, do they do the damage or help me resolve that card. Superior tactics means it will you, do the damage and you retreat. I think you choose. I choose. Well, that's worth Maybe looking out. Let me double check. I would think it would be both, but but that's only because that helps me out. For the Dakan. Hey, how are folks enjoying this? I think I'm doing okay. Uh, other than its normal ability. Yeah, so no, it's not both. Okay, so I can either choose to... Yeah. Uh, then you'd get a counterattack with a weakened unit. Correct. With those guys? Correct. Fine. Counterattack with a weakened unit. I'd rather slice them up a little. Okay. Three dice, ignoring single swords. Oh, man. These bar guests are... Well, uh, you're panicked. Okay. Hang on one sec. Uh, and actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll this lore. Okay. No, you know what? I'm going to keep the lore. Okay. I'm going to keep the lore. I'll give you some lore. That would be helpful. All right. Y'all good with that? Um, so they're panicked now. They're panicked, yeah. I'll put this little panic the guy on it. incorrect thing, and I don't know what the correct thing is. But cool. Uh, all right, my turn. Uh, still my turn. Yes. These guys aren't attacking. Uh, during my lore step, I'm going to pay one lore to move one unit, one friendly unit, one hex. That's my okay. yep. ability here. Sure. I'm going to move them into there, which, since they're both occupied, I gain a lore. Yep. And it backs them up a little bit. And it makes you do stuff. Uh, all right. During my actual full lore step, I'm going to take two and discard one. Okay. Because I need to do some cool stuff. And so you are scoring two points this turn, correct? Correct. So you're at four. Let's make it six. So there's a nickel. Yeah. So there we go. Okay. Well... Sean, Sean, did you draw back up your command cards? I did not. Here's my one command card to draw back up. Matthew's wow, that's, asking, that one's garbage. Matthew's asking why aren't those minis painted. Shut up, Matthew. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to play a wedge, which is a delicious salad. One of my favorite salads. Uh, okay, salad. what goes in a wedge salad? It's uh, a hunk of iceberg lettuce. Like, it's a, literally a wedge of iceberg lettuce. Yeah, yeah. And then you put like uh, blue cheese with like, blue cheese crumbles and bacon, sometimes jalapenos. Okay. Very good. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so that's one in each flank, two in the center. My two in the center are going to be uh, this a dude, um, this dude, mm -hmm. or dudes, and uh, my second one in the center is going to be this guy here. And then over here, my poor right flank has done nothing all game. Yeah. <laughs> so... I'm going to go ahead and order uh, the Necromancer. Okay. Uh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. So uh, Necromancer is simply going to move one unit, Blip. one spot. And then, oh, yeah, man, the Necromancer's moved my army. Why have I not been doing that? 
uh, reasons. What, what, so explain that to folks, because... So that, well, I, I kind of used that ability before, but basically uh, the Necromancers say... Oh, if, if you attack with them and, and you roll a certain result. Uh, yeah, yeah, then they get to move someone. So that's, that's done. I'm done. Um, all right. So my Banshee is going to come at your Battle Mages. All right. And these guys here are going to move um, one, two. So let's see here. I'm still going to wait. Yeah, I totally have the, the rivers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no so worry there to worry about at the that. moment. And then these guys are going to go one, two. Okay. Okay. So let us attack. First, I will start with the Necromancers. Attacking the mages. Attacking the mages. Yep. And I forget, but I will check the building. Simply, I think it's the same thing about um, reducing. Uh, a unit occupying a building hex may ignore one damage each combat. Nice. Uh, and one damage from each game effect that occurs outside combat. Nice. Okay. So I will roll my four, three dice. With my necromancers Range guys. against them. So looking for bullseyes, and I ignore one damage. Ignore one damage. I'm really looking for flags. Hey, hey! Well, you ignore the one damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and re-roll this lore. Okay. For my ability. And perfect. Perfect. So perfect. you order something within two hexes. Yes. And it can move one space? Uh, it moves... Uh, Oh, no, I should have kept the, the lore, because I actually drain you of lore. Oh, well. Um, two X's. Oh, no, one X. Yeah. Okay. And forms an attack. So one of those guys. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and move my super slow uh, bone horrors, which I'm really liking the bone horrors. But they're just slow. That's the that's the thing. Yep. Uh, so you ignore this attack, and you retreat. Okay. Ah. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right, so next my Banshee is going to attack the mages. Does it have ranged attack? It does. It does not. Nope, you don't get an attack. Because I'm bad at this game. Yep, no attack for you. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. All right, that's all right. These guys now. Yep, these guys are going to attack the... Um, your cavalry? <sighs> Yeah, I'm going to attack your cavalry. Alrighty. So, uh, but I only get two dice. And they're supported. Yeah, they're supported. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm attacking this guy. Okay. Lone, lone dude. Hi, right, uh, buddy. Three dice, but because I'm in a forest, I only get to roll two. Yep. And one I range. get one hit. Yep. Hang on one second. That was pretty good. I'm debating something here. You debate. Um, yeah, well, that's fine. He's okay. dead. Yeah. You get a VP. Get a VP. Here's your VP. Which puts me to five. Yep. Cool. All right, so these guys are done. I rolled no uh, no crowns. That's okay. Yep. Uh, these necromancers will attack at your cavalry. Okay. So I'm going to roll my three dice. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, so one retreat, not supported. Yep. And then two crowns. So you can order within two hexes to yes. come move up and attack. Yes, possibly. indeed. If you ret your retreat. Do I do that now? Yes. Okay. Because these happen after the combat. Um, you can move them up to one hex. One hex. Okay. One hex, right. So the question is... Uh, so eligible units are just these two. I'm not crazy about moving this this guy, but I will move my lone uh, bar guest. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're panicked. These guys are panicked. Yeah, I will do that. Okay. And that gives me three dice, but I'm weak. And panicked means you need, if you roll what what result is that the crown or something the flag the flag yeah so flag is a uh, damage commit produce a combat roll let's see uh, and it's an addition mm -hmm. uh, yes yes after combat so. okay 
One flag. All right. So there's a single sword, which is ignored. That's ignored. So Why am I ignoring the sword? Oh, because you're weak. Because I'm weak. So retreat, uh, and you take a damage. Hold up one second. Now this is the time to do this, I think. So I'm going to take damage once combat's completely over, right? It says, uh, and it can't be ignored. That's fine. Um, but I would have to retreat in addition? Yes. Okay, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Valor and Vengeance. Okay. So what Valor and Vengeance does, for two room, uh, two lore, paid, paid that, um, it's after uh, an attack is resolved against a friendly knight unit, and these Citadel Guards are considered knight units, uh, that friendly unit ignores all retreats caused by the combat roll, and I add two dice to the friendly unit's counter roll. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay. So at the end of this combat, one of these guys is going to die. Yes. No matter what. Yes. But not now. Not that it matters. No, but yeah. It would potentially if they were if they were weak, but they're not at this point. Right. So I get five dice on this attack. Okay. Did you pay the lore? I did pay the lore. I have a lot of lore. Uh, all right. So that's going to be uh, two lore. The one sword needed to kill him. Yep. He'd gone. I get a VP. Um. And I get two additional lore, which is what I basically paid for that whole thing. Because a friendly unit was eliminated, I'm going to play Desecrate. I draw a card from my lore deck, and I gain two lore. And how much? Oh, you don't pay me. Nope. Okay. So there. Okay. Interesting. So we've got some juicy cards to work with this time. All right, So, but, but we're still on your turn. Well, that's it. That's it for that so lore step. So I discard that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a lore and a lore point. Yep. And then I'm going to score one point, two points again. So that yep. that puts me uh, at seven. So I'll yep. take a nickel. So we're currently tied at seven. Right. But you're – I'm ahead in turns, though, so that's – Unfortunate for me. Okay. All right. This is uh, going to be a fun one, I think. Did I draw a command? No, I did not. I thought I did. Am I crazy? Nope. Not crazy. Oh, boy. That's <laughs> an interesting card. Is it? How interesting is it? Very. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is do some cavalry stuff, I think. So we're going to do a cavalry charge. Cavalry charge lets me order three cavalry. I can actually do this more efficiently. Let's not do a cavalry charge, though now you know I have it. Uh, we're going to do a line advance instead. Line advance is one in each hex. One of them is going to be a cavalry. Another one of them is going to be a cavalry. And we'll say a third one is, um, well, we'll call it these guys, the Iron Ironborn. Okay. All right. So I haven't moved my Lancers yet, my cavalry in this case. Uh, they have two effects. One, trample. If the target unit is supported, cause one damage for each retreat ignored. Ooh. So I basically, you're trying to like retreat and it doesn't yeah. work. Charge, if I roll a helmet during my turn, if this unit was not adjacent to the target unit at the start of the move step, cause one damage. Okay. So that's going to be fun stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to go, let's see. I'm actually going to move the activation. Uh, so it's one in each. So we have a middle. So we do need a right no matter what. So that's that's just as fine as any move. We're going to... Sorry, we're conflating games. Okay. We don't gain victory points for killing units. Okay. So I've killed two of your units? You've killed... Two of you've killed three of my units. Uh, how? How? No, you've killed two of my units. Two okay, my units. so I'm I lose two VP and, and you've killed, killed one, one of my units. Okay. All right. Yes. Sorry. 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 Not sorry. Okay. In addition, at the oh, I took the wrong marker. Yep. I was super confusing. All right. At the start of this whole thing, I'm going to play overrun. There we go. That's after my order step. So I've chosen my three units. I'm doing overrun. I pay my three lore cost. Uh, and that says, friendly cavalry units may move through hexes occupied by enemy units this turn. Roll one die each time a friendly cavalry unit moves through a hex occupied by an enemy unit this turn. Nice. For each uh, double sword or single sword uh, produced, that enemy unit suffers one damage. So how we're going to do this is we are going to go one, uh, two, 
and I guess three, but it, it says I can't stop on them, I guess. Right. So, okay, we'll probably do this in a different order then. We'll go, these guys will go up first on their movement. Sure. With their one movement. Uh, these guys will go um, one, two into the city, aiming at the Banshee. And these guys will go there um, one, two, What's up? Does it, say, does, it, does it say you can ignore terrain? Uh, let's see. It doesn't say anything about terrain. Does that mean I have to stop in the woods? Yeah. Let's double check that. Which makes sense. I don't think it makes any sense at all. This is garbage. So forest, uh, when a unit moves into a forest hex, it must immediately end its movement. Okay, so we're not doing overrun this turn then. I'm not playing that card that okay. I was playing. Because of an understanding of the rules that was different than anyway. But Sean now knows that stuff might go down with cavalry here. Yeah. These guys are going to go up one, two. Hello. Hello. Uh, all right. So uh, these guys are I'm going to have them attack first on this lone dude chilling yep. there. Yep, that's what he does. He chills. He just chills. Uh, and I roll three dice for them. Just three. Uh, all right. So, there's the sword needed yep. to kill him off, yeah. and I get a follow-up. Yes. I don't get a follow-up attack, I just follow no. up into that space. Correct. But that's fine. I don't get a victory point for doing that, nope. unfortunately, but I'm because happy of rules. because of rules. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with that in general. Uh, all right, and then we're going to hack and slash these guys yep. with these little pike men. Bring it. Uh, or, sorry, pike, they're the ironbound. Ironbound, rolling four. Get these out of the way for confusion's sake. If this were Lord of the Rings, they'd be your uh, Citadel Guard. Okay. What does that mean in this case with this Citadel Guard? They're not Citadel Guard. Oh, sorry. These are your Ironbound. Your Citadel Guard are your Citadel Guard. Right. But in Lord of the Rings, they would be... Never mind. So nothing happens there other than I basically get two lore. You retreat uh, one space. Okay. And I can follow up if I wanted to, I guess. Yes. Yes. Okay. Boy, that left wink is left. Wait, left flank. I'm actually not going to fall. I'm going to. I'm going to leave him there. Okay. Um. All right. And finally, the horsemen way over here get yep. their attack. The horsemen say, "I'm going to stab you in the face." Oh no. Rolling three. That's horrible. Uh, I'm going to be doing one additional damage if I roll the whatever. Else. Uh. Okay. So I didn't roll the crown. I did roll a sword. Uh, do you have what effects do you have of any kind with the banshee? Nothing. Uh, five, it's, it's five damage. It's a sword and a retreat. Yes. Okay. Get back in the river. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, you need nothing. No, yeah. Oh, I need a wound. That's what I need. Yes. I am wounded. You one have, one damage done. You have wounded me. Uh, Thou hast wounded me, good sir. All right, I'll put it on the on the card. All right, and they're just gonna chill. Oh, uh, nope, I didn't roll that. Never mind. Go ahead. Uh, except for it's still my turn. Yep. So I'm gonna do lore step. Uh, I'll do some stuff with that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll take a uh, lore and a card. One lore, one card. So trade these. Four. Four in and take a lore card. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, he says. Oh, these things suck. All right, so what? Oh, victory points. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I get uh, one because that's clear, two, three victory points. Sure, sure. All right, I'm going to do battle lore. What does that mean? So roll four dice, and then based on what I roll, I get various effects. Um, all right. So I get uh, the crowns are order elite units. Oh, nice. The swords are infantry or cavalry. So I only – do I have any elites? I, uh, I don't have any elites. Um, that's awkward. So what does that mean? So I just – I ignore one of these. So – this guy can get ordered, and then I can order two two other units. Okay. Uh, that's of your choice? Good. Yeah, my choice. No. 
Yeah, it's that's it's a pretty nice card. card. Yeah, a fourth a fourth activation would have been nice, but what can you do? Um, okay, so let's go like ugh, awkward. Let's really go here. Yep. Here and here. Okay. Let's see if I can knock you off that. So how many points do you have total right now? Currently I have eight. Ugh, that's not good. To my six. Okay. So I will move the Banshee. Yep. Here. Yep. Uh, and stay put. Move. Okay. Yep. That's always fun. Okay. So let's start... Uh, let's start. Oh no, one. Oh, that's too far away now. Yep, sure is. Well, that's fine. That's fine. All right, which one's attacking first? Okay, so this guy is going to attack the horses, the cavalry. So three dice, and that is two hits and a retreat. Okay. So these guys will retreat uh, directly away, so I can well, choose. You can right? choose. Yeah, I'll choose there. Okay. And two two hits. Uh, two, oh, because they're ranged. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, hang on. We're going to do something a little different then. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. We're going to do something just slightly different because we've got all these freaking cards, and I haven't had a good chance to use them yet. So let's do... I don't like the two damage. I really don't. So we're going to do a wall of steel. Pay for two. Basically, I'm splitting the dice. You choose. Hey, Sean, would you like uh, a retreat and uh, range damage, or would you like... Uh, so this one, basically, I yeah, split the two, and he chooses, and, choose. and he chooses. So I've split ranged and retreat, or that. Just so you know, you could do it that way. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, yeah, well, I'll do that. Okay. So you lose one. Blah. And you retreat. And then I'm going to pay two lore to play Reign of Terror. What's that do? Play after an enemy unit in a hex containing a banner marker is eliminated or forced to retreat to one or more hexes. Gain a VP. Uh-uh. Two, Runic Barrier. Uh, you discard the card. You don't pay its cost. So when, you keep, when do you play that? Right now, after your opponent plays a lore card. Okay. Paying the two lore. I get uh, the lore back? You, you get the lore back. Yeah, it's not spent. So okay. You still have it. Cool, cool. So these guys are done. And then these guys are going to come shooting over the water, hopefully wrecking you. Don't roll so well. Wreck! Stop wreck. it. Uh, ooh, interesting. So You want to re-roll the lore. Well, here's the thing. So I can use the lore to drain you of lore, and then I gain it, but I think I just kind of want to kill these jerks. One of these. Come on. Come on. Uh, so I give so you, you a lure. lore. Yeah. So let me break that up. So four. I keep four. There's your lore. So one damage, one retreat. Yep. Unless you do something. No, nothing tricksy. else to do at the moment. Okay. So these guys are done. Yep. Next, I have my Banshee. Okay. Oh boy. So the crown is horrifying. I cause one retreat to each enemy unit adjacent to it. Okay. Uh, so you're going to ignore um, one sword. One of the swords. So I deal uh, two damage. Yep. And then you retreat. And I will. This guy retreats too. I every everyone. Every everything. Everything adjacent to the banshee. Oh, to the bait to the banshee. I yeah. see. And then, hey, I will follow up. I don't like that at all. Hello, friends. Um, all right. So I think that uh, does that do it for me? I did not wipe out any units, correct? No. No, that's okay. Uh, so now what we need to do whenever you play the battle lore card, it forms a new discard pile, and these get shuffled in. Okay. Uh, to kind of keep the deck fresh. I suppose. I really need to fix that Banshee. Okay. So I will draw, and I will take two cards, discarding one. Hand. And VPs, you'll be getting two VPs this turn. Uh, yes, I will be getting... Two. Two, right? Yes. Yeah, nice. No. Yes. Yes, two. I don't know why you weren't trusting me. I know. <laughs> How long do we have? All right. Hmm. This is dry, dicey, dicey, dicey. 
Dicey, dicey stuff. Okay. If I move into a town, my movement stops as well, correct? Correct. All right. Disappointing. All of this is just so disappointing. So, hmm. Well, I'm basically going to be attacking three left is how I'm going to have to do this. Okay. I'm going to try and wipe out this, this fool. You try. I will. I will try. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate that. Um, all right. How are we going to do this? So we're going to go one, two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, just one. It's one, two, three. Why not? So well, he's sitting nicely by a lake. Sure. Because someone's not track keeping good track of their lake stuff. One, two. That's a bad spot for him to be in. He needs to be like here. Let's do that. And these guys will stay where they are. All right. All right. Battle mages are going to fire first. Three shots. Uh, oh, that could force a retreat, though. That's not good. Uh, these guys will attack first. Okay. All right. Citadel guard. That is going to be one damage to the big fella. Uh, which I will ignore. Yep. In the building. And then you attack back. Because I'm a boss. With four dice or something? Four dice. Oh, that's never fun. Hey, both of those units retreat. Uh, well, no, well, no, no, the one's adjacent. The adjacent oh, to guys, him. Oh, yeah. so he retreats, but he chills. No, no, this guy. He retreats, retreats too. Yes. Yes. And then, uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, let's re-roll these. Okay. So, oh, man. Uh, so, who was attacking this? The guard? These guys, yeah. Okay. So, they take a damage. Yep. They have one retreat from this. Retreat, retreat. So, three total. And then the, the one dies. One yep. Kills it. Kills it. Well, it doesn't kill the whole unit, but no, it kills no, no, no. one of the guys in the unit. Because they're super scared. They've never seen anything like this. That Sorry. banshee is sweet. Yeah, he is. These three are attacking here. Yep. Uh, that does nothing. Does nothing. Uh, except, nope, does nothing. Because there's nothing within a hex of this anymore. Yep. It does jack and squat. I think we're really bad with our support units. Could be. Uh, all right. I am pretty much done. I'm going to draw two of these and discard one. <sighs> Wish you could thin the deck a little better. All right. Fine. That one's discarded because it's dealing with arrows, right? Battle Lore is Archer a tactical units. game without deck building elements. Thank you. Uh, VP step. I don't think I get... Anything, yeah, Jack, Jack, and squat. Not good. I'm in bad shape. That was a bad turn. So let's uh, update. I'm at eight. Yep, I'm also at eight. At eight. But okay, you're gonna be at so more after back, this. We're back to yeah, kind of. Go ahead. All right. So let's do this a couple different ways. Um, <laughs> awkward. That's super awkward. That's kind of funny though. I'm going to go ahead and order echelon right. So one in the center, uh, two on my right flank. Yep. Well, my one in the center is going to be, I think it's got to be this guy. Yep. And my two in the flank is, God, this, so I really like these bone horrors. They're just so slow. I'll get Lord to, to move them. Mm -hmm. See, so yeah, I will activate him, and we'll activate that guy. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So let's make oh, sure. Crap. No, well, too late. Doesn't matter. I keep forgetting I can spend a Lord to move dudes. Be useful to do. That would be useful. Yeah, because I could have gotten a VP last turn. Oh, we can. We can. Okay. Retcon that. Retcon. This guy moves up here. I get a VP. Yep. Hooray for me. So let me rethink. Go ahead. Yes, rethink everything. Um, does well, well that affects line of sight, so that's that's a thing. Um, yes, ignore that. And instead I'm gonna play patrol left. We play very loose rules. No, um, I think I just give you the, the benefit of the doubt. No, I appreciate that. I'm, so, I'm such a nice guy. I, well, and also you just like ripped me apart over on the left here. Yeah, that was, oh man, that banshee is gross. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to activate my two necromancers. Yep. And I'm in, I would really like to, can I activate both of them? Like, I want to chain. Oh, off of each other? Yeah. Does that work? I, why wouldn't it? It says minion unit. Are those not? 
Oh, they're not. Yeah, I don't think that works. That doesn't work. Don't cheat. You don't work. I actually, I already cheated anyway by retconning. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to um I really don't want to move off that, but I really want line of sight on that lone guy. Yup. All right, let me look at these cards here. Um Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, attack this this guy here. Yep, try and pick him off. Yeah, so that's three dice. Come on, bullseye. Uh-uh. No. Double retreat. Double retreat. Help me! Uh-oh, that's actually... I know, what, I know why that's bad for you. Uh, it's problematic. <sighs> okay. Man, these guys are... All... Those guys are going to... Uh... Well, you, could have, you have options. I have options. But I think I care more about that. Okay. So yeah, these guys will attack here. Um, Double retreat. Well, hold on, real quick, because I'm I've got a lore. Yep. Which uh, I can drain you. Uh, not, I mean, you could be getting to the point where you're playing your like high, high, really high level spells. Um, but I'd really like either another retreat or a bullseye. Can I just go straight into the river, and that would stop my movement? Maybe. And I could follow a retreat path along the river even if you had a third one. That's true. Um I think it's yeah, I mean it's good to know, but it's I think it's probably moot. You're not getting me off that river, Sean. So don't even try. Oh yeah, a river would uh, would stop you. Okay. Um, so you yeah, probably I'm just still, I'm still gonna, Well, no, I'm gonna. Okay. Maybe get a bullseye. Maybe get a hit. No. Crown does nothing no, in this nothing case. Nothing in this case. Yep. Okay. So retreat, retreat. Yep. They go here and stop. And stop. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll at least catch you off the point. Well, I can move back. Oh, well, sure. <laughs> uh, all right. So that was a really. Oh, alternately, I could retreat, oh, retreat oh. here, right? It doesn't matter. I'll retreat. That's fine. Okay. Do, do your thing. Um, and then I'm going to play a lore card. Another one of my reigns of terror. Uh, I pay two, yep. and I gain a VP. If you'll allow it this time. Yes, I will allow it this time. That jerk. All right. I get a VP. And you'll get another VP another for, that, for that. But you don't get your other thing. No. Because I'm Because we're you. two two to two. Yep. On um, round that swamps. Was, uh, so I'm at, uh, I'm at 10. You're 10? I'm at 9. And it's even turns? Or no? No, it's first to 16. First to 16, period. Well, that's never good. I think. Well, I'll check that. You should check that. Okay. And then um, I will take uh, a card and a lore. Okay. All right. Painful, painful stuff. I'm going to do a line advance. Uh, so we will mark... I'm going to pay a lore... To consider these guys as if they're in any hex. Okay. So, and then these guys are gonna move. These are the Ironbound. Oh, maybe I'll consider them. And ah, who knows? I don't know what I'm doing, Sean. Do I look like some guy who knows what he's doing? Nope. I'm gonna basically gonna basically end up paying a lore so I can move these well, guys. Well, who are you activating? I'm activating three units. Yes. Uh, Do that first. One, one, and one. Uh, I'm going to activate these guys over here on the left, mm -hmm. probably, and we'll call these guys good. Okay, before you do anything. Yes. Sorry, I'm getting my lore back. Uh, before you do anything, I'm going to play Morbid Grasp for six. What does that do? Play after your opponent's command step. Yep. Choose two enemy units. Yep. Um... Those units cannot move during your opponent's move step. Ah, which two are you choosing? That one and that one. Great. So these guys can move, though. Yes, they okay. can move freely. I don't think they can move very fast, but they can move. They can't move very fast. This is a bunch of garbage. Uh, all right, and they can't move, period, even from other effects. Correct? These guys have automation, which gives them some other effect. They can't move during your move step. Okay. That's never good. So I don't think I'm doing much this turn, other than basically these guys are... Oh, well, these guys can attack. They, they can't can move, attack. but they can attack. Correct. 
So the Ironbound there are going to attack and kind of push your try and push those guys away. So four, this is not during my move step, it's now during my attack step, right? Correct. So they could, in theory, follow up if need be. Yes. Uh, all right, so swords don't do anything. Lore gets me a lore. Um, uh, that's going to be one damage to you and two retreats for these guys. Yes. Blah, blah. Back away. Uh, they're going to choose not to follow up. Okay. Uh, all right. These guys can't do anything. These guys are going to fire at uh, Captain Necromancer. He's a hero. And a zero. Or he's a banshee, whatever. Uh, and he's going to fire with all his battle mage might. Uh, and you ignore what? A retreat? One, one damage. I don't ignore the retreat. Okay. I get a lure. You back out of that town. Yeah. Okay. The damage wouldn't be, it doesn't matter anyway, because yeah. it isn't actually a damage in this case. It's, that's, that's a fact. It is a fact, Jack. All right. During my lore step, I'm going to pay one lore to move these guys one hex. Yep. During my lore step, not during yep. my move step. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm removing all these cubes. Uh, and then during lore itself, I will take a lore and a card. Go ahead. Okay. So here's the plan. Uh, and no points, right? Oh, no, one point. Oh, I get, uh, I get a point there. And that's it. And that's it. Okay, so here is the plan. I'm going to now play... Um, Banshee's Revenge? I need to put one of these. Echelon right. Okay. So one in the center, two on the right. My one in the center will be this guy mm -hmm. for for reasons yeah i know i you're staying next to the lake yeah. and and then i'm gonna order this guy yep. and uh this guy yep okay so oh uh, yeah let's do this combat first okay i roll four dice three dice three dice. three dice yep um, one base and then two for each guy. Is there some advantage to being up on the hill? Uh, line of sight. And He's dead anyway. He's dead, and I regenerate. With the other sword. With the other sword. Aha. Uh -huh. um, oh, that's unfortunate. Isn't it? Yep, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, well, that's okay. I'm, I'm still happy with that result. Very happy with that result, in fact. Oh, sorry. I meant to move that guy. And I, sorry, I should do all my movement at once. Yes. That's totally a thing. Okay. Yep. Next to the river. All right. Uh, Banshee does nothing. Yep. She just chills and is like, cool. That guy's firing the three hexes towards him. Yep. Uh, three dice. One uh, ranged hit. I can't get a lore to save my life. But you hit him. Yeah, I know. And he's, and he's dead. Trying to play cool abilities. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of my lancer card because it's there's nothing. There's no more lancers left. Uh, this is not I, pretty, folks. So lore step. Uh, lore step. I'm gonna take my command card. I'm gonna take uh, two lore. Okay. One, two. You have four total. Uh, I have four total now. Okay. And then I'm gonna get one point here, and then I do have more. Uh, more river spots. So that is two, which two takes lovely me to 12. Uh-oh. I'm at 10. You should check endgame. Did okay. you check endgame? I, I'll, I'm working on it. I'm, right. I'm busy taking a turn. All right. So my turn, yes? Yes. All right. I am going to be doing an attack right. Attack right. Uh, so I activate all three of my guys in the right hex. Badoop, badoop. Badoop. Or, alternately, I'm going to pay one lore to activate this guy as if he's in any hex, and he gets two additional movement as a result. Hooray for that. Meanwhile, Sean's double-checking stuff. Yep. 16. 16 does it. And there's no... It's at the end of your turn if you have 16. Yep. There's no first-turn disadvantage or advantage. Well, in theory... The scenarios balance it out. Okay. Because that's what determines player order. I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah. Um, all right. We are going to play for this turn and this turn alone. Assault! 
for all nine of my lore. All nine lore. Assault. After my oh, after my move step, I have to move first. So John says he thinks that the side view works better than the top view, and I think I probably agree for this particular game. Those guys don't need to be activated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna move this slightly. Deal with it. Okay. These guys are right. So what's the what's the deal with the hill? Just it stops movement. Is there anything else to it? Uh, there's a line of sight thing and. Uh, okay. Stuff. I'm gonna get aggressive here. So pikemen go there. These guys go there, and these guys go. Yep. Uh, one, two, there. Okay. With, they're still they're still terrified, even though they're doing their best. Okay, now I'm pulling. I, I paid my nine lore for assault. Mm -hmm. Assault says I add a double sword, a target, and a flag to any combat role performed by my friendly units this turn. Go for it. So, attacking these guys. Yep. With the ironborn. Bring it. All right, uh, Ironbound, that's adding a sword and a retreat. So you'd be... Uh, so two, two damage? Two, two damage and... And one retreat. And two retreats. Two retreats, which will just be one. Yes. And then these guys are going to follow up here. Yep. Um, all right. These guys attack first. Okay. Uh, adding stuff. These are my Ironbound. They get four dice. All right, that's a pretty good result for me, actually. So I get a lore. Mm -hmm. I hack and slash two of them to bits. Yep. And there's one retreat. Yep. So they back off. Uh, yes. These guys will follow up. Okay. Now these guys attack. Yep. Um, Doesn't well, ro yeah, roll. You'll kill them, but well, other stuff might. Yeah, other no, stuff might happen. Yeah. That's what I said. Roll. Uh, all right, get a lore. And then murder. And then just you straight up murdered. Um, and they will follow up to here. Okay. Uh, and I will play out of hand, zero plunder after an enemy unit's eliminated, gain three lore. Hey, I, needed, no lore I needed that stuff. I needed that whole thing. Yeah. All of it. Um, although it's, yeah, it's still not superb. I needed to kill him, mm -hmm. but I didn't. So what are you going to do? Uh, all right. So you gain one point. Yeah, I have the crystals, oh. so it's just it's just one point. It's still just one point either way. Puts me at eleven, and you're currently at twelve. So you can't win this next round. I can't uh -huh. win this next round. Oh, well, maybe you can. I don't well. know. Um, all right, and then during my lore step, I am going to take a lore and a card. All right, I've got some I've got some work to do here. I got this. I got this. Okay. All right. Um, so you're good, right? Yep. I'm going to attack right. Yep. So three on the right. Blah. Army and of the Undead. That's going to be... Captain Banshee? No. Oh. No, my Banshee's just chilling. Just chilling, eating up points. Yeah. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. So first, I will move... Oh, and I, sorry. I need one of these. Okay. Um, I will move here. Okay, so I'm going to take my bone horrors and go one, two with a lore. Okay. And then these guys are simply going to go one. So you're yep. done. Mm -hmm. And he's done moving. Oh, they're, oh they're you're saying for attacking. They're yeah. attack. yep. So three dice ranged at the... Citadel guard. And I automatically have uh, iron bound. So iron they automatically bound. ignore one sword, but you're not firing with sword, so I don't know why I would care. <sighs> but you get the helmet. I get the helmet. Okay, so no no damage done. Yep. But um I will <sighs> how to do this, how to do this. Um maybe I don't want to attack yet. Okay. With my lone guy, I can just move this guy up one space. Is he considered a minion? Yes. Does it yes. say minion on there? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, I don't. 
so I can roll two dice and then just get yeah I know no. I just move him up one space one space a little extra mobility yep never killed anyone and that's gonna do it for me so I'm scoring two points yep takes me to 14 I'm gonna go ahead and take two lore and be done all right uh, yep. So game situation for folks. Um, I'm in rough shape here because basically I got to kick him off of this. Yep. I've got to uh, and get enough of his folks away from the river, which is possible, but not really easy given my cards. Nope, nope, nope. Especially where they're all positioned. So we're going to do some crazy stuff and see how it goes. I think the only option I have is echelon left. Echelon left. Yep, that's what we're doing. It's called echelon left. So, you currently have three units clustered around the river, right? Four units. Uh, four, that is correct. Yep. Four separate units. I am going to spend a lore to activate these ironborn as if they're in any, oh, yep, as yep, if yep. They're in any hex. These guys get activated. Yep. I don't think they can run quite fast enough, but maybe they can do some other cool things. And these guys get activated. So it'd be uh, the one that was in the left, I'm right. considering as if right. this is activating there. Cool, cool. Uh, though I may need to do something else to get your numbers down river-wise. I don't know. I think I'm kind of screwed either way. Because I can get, you can get two next to the river, so I maybe need to figure out another activation here. I guess I can spend another lore to count those two separately, and then I, the third one could also be in the center, but I don't have a third one in the center. I think I'm just kind of hosed generally. I have literally no other cards that would, would affect this. Or well, you any. could do... Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I just need to be near the river. Okay, you, so I'm going to do what have, my plan is. Don't you have movement? In, can't you spend for movement? I can. That's right, during the lore step, and I probably need to be doing that. So these guys are going to move up here to this position. Yep. Um, yeah, this is problematic, because basically I have two turns to do stuff. And I'm at 11 points. These guys are going to come up here and do stuff. Yep. Well, they're not. They're just going to sit there. They're going to sit there, but that's fine by me. And just mine points from the ground. And then these guys aren't going to move. They're just going to attack. Sure. And we'll see what happens. So uh, let's do all this in order. So this guy goes there. Four dice for the Ironborn. Yeah, garbage. Garbage, garbage. Kills him. Yep, sure does. He gone. You got it. All right. That's the easy part. Are you moving in? Uh, I don't see any reason to. No, okay. There's no reason to. No, right. This is the one that basically determines whether Sean wins immediately or wins at a later point. Is these guys firing here and trying to force a retreat. Can they retreat? Those guys can't retreat. They cannot retreat. So I basically need to have three, uh, three bullseyes. Is yep. that right? Yep. One in 108. Oh, except for this lore card I have that does super. Okay. Here's the other question. Archers. I yes. don't actually have archers. I'm assuming these don't count as archers, even though they're ranged. What? Yeah. Uh, it specifically says archers. With an archer unit. Or Yeah, no. Nope, I don't think so. So, let's roll these one at a time, huh? Yeah, because none of these other cards, this one deals with cavalry, this one deals with killing stuff on my side of the board. Sure, sure. I think it's all moot point. So, um, unless you did something stupid on your turn. Firing here, trying to basically kill them. Ready? First one, nope. Second one, nope. Third one, nope. nope. It'd be great if they were like standing right there with their like magey fist hands. Doesn't work. Uh, so I only. Oh, I still have. I can still do three. So it's not over, over, but it's it's not good. Yeah. You basically just have to move someone next to the river, which maybe you can do. Probably can do. Spending lore uh, during my move, move step. These guys go here. Yep. Just to be jerks. Yep. Um. VPs, I'm going to get one and two mm -hmm. on the VPs. I was kind of behind on that stuff anyway. Yeah. And then during lore step, just as a way to maybe stay in this, we're going to draw two cards and hope something cool comes out of that. Oh, it certainly did not. <laughs> Ugh. This roll cannot be affected by terrain. Great. Keep that one. Discard this card. Awesome. All right, Sean, can you do something that moves someone next to a river who's not currently next to a river? Yes. Okay. However, I don't want to take... We'll, we'll have some drama. 
huh, we'll have, we'll have some, because, because really, uh, the question, really, it's this, it's this guy here. Can I, can I activate this unit? Yes, I can activate the unit. Okay, then you win. Well, yeah, but. What drama are you talking about? I'm going to play Clash of Steel. What's that do? Order three units adjacent to enemy units. Enemy units cannot counter this turn. <laughs> okay. So, Just to extend the game. I will attack here for oh, three. Oh, man. Uh, I kill one and I... So wait, what, what do I not do this turn? Don't counterattack. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so I deal one damage. And, actually, let's reroll this. I deal two damage. <laughs> okay, great. And you don't counterattack. Excellent. Uh, and then my banshee... Just winning like a jerk. No, no, I just... I, I couldn't roll like crap, but I don't. But you don't. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I get my last two points. Yay! And I'm the big winner. So, why don't we play this game more? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's Oh, you know, I know. Why? Because we're doing other stuff? No, it's... Well, you, well, there's always that. That's, that's the answer for why don't we play any game we really enjoy more. Yes. Uh, but I think it's also... It's kind of a lot of setup. Mm -hmm. um, and each, like, I feel like you need to play two scenarios. If you're going to pull out the game, yeah. play two scenarios. Yeah. Um, but we're not going to do that. Well, no, we're not doing that. So that was about an hour, 45 minutes. Ooh. But that's with us, like, kind of talk talking things yeah. a lot more on the initial, like, And rolling turns things. back and being super rusty and not yeah. generally good at the game. Um, but, oh, yeah, I love this game. This game is so cool. I, I really like The Undead. Um, I don't know. What do you think about the undead? Yeah, they're annoying, especially that guy. Yeah, that banshee. Ugh. Yeah. I plowed through stuff over here, but yep. uh, not so fun. Yep, 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 yep. Didn't have a good answer for that. So. All right, well, uh, the couple of you that, uh, let's see. what. Maybe pandemic, people watch it later. You never know. Pandemic Legacy first? Matthew said Pandemic Legacy first. Oh, oh, instead of playing this more. Oh. I think is what he's referencing. Yeah. Get this stuff out of here. Ugh. Oh, All right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for watching live. The couple of you that did, <laughs> uh, and I'm sure people will be watching this uh, not live, not live later. Yep. So we gotta go record a podcast. Yeah, early Thursday night recording. So until next time, this is Sean and Alex. And go undead. Hey, Elijah. Go undead.